Hi, we are here at the Heroes and Hopes Gala for A Safe Haven Foundation. I'm Jameson. I'm Jordan. And this is City Lights Shy. Gala for a Safe Haven, Governor Roos Rahner right next to me. Can we talk about just the importance of an organization like a Safe Haven in Chicago and what they do for the community? You know, a Safe Haven does such wonderful work in our communities. We have so many veterans who need our support and so much deserve our support. And to help them get back on their feet, get established with some uh, housing and some mentoring and coaching and healthcare services and assistance to get back in great careers. They do great work for veterans, but they do great work for so many people in need in our communities. They do wonderful work. We are here with Nellie Vasquez at a Safe Haven Foundation, the gala tonight, Heroes and Hope. Um, can we start by telling people who might not know yet what a Safe Haven Foundation is? Well, Jameson, a Safe Haven's a lot of things. It really is a place where people can get their life back on track. Uh, from poverty and homelessness, and we serve women with children, we serve youth, we serve uh, military veterans, basically anybody who's in crisis. And the good news is that once they come to A-State Haven, we're able to really assess them, house them, feed them, get them treatment, job training, jobs, I mean the list goes on. So it's a beautiful model that more people need to know more about because we actually serve 5,000 people a year. Well, we actually have uh, what's called a transitional housing headquarters that's located in North Lawndale that takes in 400 people at a time. And we also have supportive housing, affordable housing, and senior housing that's located throughout the Chicagoland area. So our vision is that we can have a hub, which is what we have uh, here in Chicago in North Lawndale, and put a hub in every community around Chicago that needs a place for people to go to that are in poverty. Uh, and people even that are coming out of the criminal justice system are, again, veterans that need a place to start over. Uh, and we can do this in every city and every state, really. And although we know we've been doing this for 23 years, I know we're only getting started because we are really at a pivotal time in our nation's history where there's a huge yearning for understanding and for supporting ways that we can really take all of our stakeholders, public, private, you know, independent people, working together and really working on what really matters. And that is helping people. At the end of the day, that is something that everybody can agree on, no matter who you are or where you come from. And at ACP, even no matter who you are or where you come from, we're there to help. So Jordan Weiss here with City Lights Chicago, standing with Linda Mench, who is a board member for A Safe Haven at A Safe Haven's annual gala. I'd love to just hear from you why events like this are important and why supporting specifically organizations like A Safe Haven is so important in Chicago. When a safe haven's been around for over 20 years, fighting these very causes that suddenly have become, you know, popular to embrace, we have a culinary program, we teach people how to um, prepare meals, how to deliver food service. We find employment for these folks. We've been in the trenches trying to help people out of homelessness and into a way of life that supports them, that allows them to, to live a, a full life. And I think that's true. And um, hopefully we're part of the solution. Absolutely. Well, thank you for joining us, Linda. Thanks. A lot of love. I'm Jameson McDermott, and this is City Lights Shy. Right now we are here with Alex Picios, who is part of the founding family of Cinespace and currently the CEO. Yes, you got to get correct, right. CEO. Do you like That's hearing right. that out loud? No, no, the no. CEO of Cinespace. <laughs> Uh, and it's great to, uh, to see this place fill up the way it is. And, you know, we started with four or five sound stages. Now we're up to 30, which makes us uh, one of the largest film studio companies in the world. And uh, we're excited because most of the stages are full. So, you know, we just got to keep doing that good stuff. And it's exciting. I believe in being humble. And, and uh, Safe Haven is all about humility. I mean, helping people uh, from the veterans like we're just, uh, supporting today uh, to the homeless. Uh, and doing the right thing, you know, we, we, we try to do a lot, very similar things like the Safe Haven uh, with our foundation, Cinecares, and it's all about giving back and doing the right thing. And, uh, I, you know, we're a great uh, partnership between Cinespace and the Safe Haven. We get a lot of things done. But I think that if you take life day by day and you try to help someone or do the right thing every day, you know, take the high road is what my Uncle Nick, uh, who we're honoring tonight, who passed away four years ago and started Cinespace, you know, take the high road and I think it's the best thing to do. I think he'd be very proud of what we're doing here tonight. So thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it, and I'm excited for the rest of the night. Thank you very much.
I first want to thank Nellie and Safe Haven for this honor. The work Nellie and her team are doing for the vets in this state is unsurmountable. She works tireless, tirelessly to provide all the support our veterans need after they have given their hearts and souls to protect the freedom of each and every one of us in this room today. Veterans around the world and veterans in the room here, I want to salute you and thank you for protecting all of our families and giving us the freedom to live in the great nation of ours. There is the people that work for A Safe Haven. Where's our staff? Can you guys raise your hand? They're amazing. Those are the front lines that are making things happen at A Safe Haven. Where's our board? Please stand up. Please stand up. All of our board members, all of our advisory board members, please stand up. These are the people that I love. They do day in and day out so much to support me and support at Ryan and support all of us at A Safe Haven. Whether it's business advice or just getting us through a hard time, they're there for us. Again, we're not done. We're just getting started. The issue of homelessness is real. It's on our doorstep. And we're going to do everything we can to make sure that no one ends up hungry and no one ends up homeless in Chicago. So thank you so much.